sauce off, you know it costs. I'm gonna cut it off myself. Yeah, we in the rain, got the Hellcat on 245, and I got it in sport mode. Demon on her though. Well, yeah, we got a demon in sport mode, so you know we ain't got no traction, and we in the rain. Hey, bro, sit Hurricane, back, sit look. back, sit back, so they can't see the V on the head. See, y'all car people be messing up, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. When y'all driving, especially when y'all get y'all cars, high horsepower and all that stuff, do not put your car in sport mode thinking. Because I heard a lot of people say, oh, I'm not going to put my car in track mode because it's going to act too dumb. No, your track mode keep you in control. Sport mode? Nah, you're going to crash in sport mode, I'm trying to tell you. Sport mode give you more of a sporty feel and it give you more, more traction slip. Track mode ain't going to give you as much. They give you traction slip, don't get me wrong, but it ain't gonna be like sport mode. Y'all, I'll be seeing a lot of people drive their car in sport mode, bro. All right, trying to tell you. And that thing break loose, and you don't know why? Well, you gonna know why instantly. Okay, apparently, you gonna be acting dumb, so you already know why it break <laughs> loose, bro. You driving this car like this, bro, and you gonna drive it crazy, and you ain't trying to lose control for real, for real driving in track mode. Track mode gonna keep you somewhat in control. It's still gonna. You still need to know what you're doing when you're driving cars, but damn, bro, look at that damn 300. STX, damn, I thought it was good. Ooh. Got some little pretty rims on there. That's some pretty rims, white on white. Pretty. You clean, boy. Value your cars, man. Even if you got a V6 or a V4 uh, four cylinder, bro. Everybody gotta make it somewhere. This this video really for my dog. He already wanted. He wanted. He been wanting me to do it since 2017. Since elementary. And I got the car in 2019. What? I put my uh my uh paddle shifts on today too. Go ahead and show them that big dog. Oh. Hey y'all gotta get over there, big dog. Come on y'all, y'all bullhogging the lanes. Come on. I ain't even like that. Let me over. Hey man, we finally heard man. He need help to get out the car. I ain't got all day to be playing around with this little boy. Got the windshield tinted. Big, what's that? Zero percent? Yeah, you know, you know how we do. Big zero on top of zero. <laughs> <laughs> man, why that boy be doing all that capping, boy? <laughs> he cap a lot. Oh, he needs some milk. Yeah. Go, boy, hey, coming back around that same boys back down. Hey, Hey, can you rev it up? Can you rev it up for me? Yes, yeah, good. Thank you. Had it sound already. Huh? Had it sound already. Sound like I don't need no work. Let's leave. Get your car off the dock. <laughs> A big circle. Yeah, see my see my exhaust tips can come out about this far from the camera to yeah. to my hand. Cause that's some I ain't seen no challenger like that, you know? So y'all too. Yeah, he gonna get he gonna he gonna get the ones that come right up by the window. They're gonna come out the side and come up to the window. And fog up the window so where I can't see wreck. But I ain't gonna wreck that because I'm a driver, you know. Yeah, as soon as we get it done though, they're gonna be like, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and tax you. Since you got money, because you look like you got money, we're gonna go ahead. 300 more dollars. <laughs> Dang, bro, you told me this right now, you're talking about this.
What'd you say? No traffic, now it's hella traffic. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'ma pull up in that red eye. Huh? No, no, no. What I need gloves for? I'm a gangster. Give me the gloves. See how dumb he's acting, man.